From a design perspective, we would have spent a week brainstorming, coming up with ideas. They're obviously wanting to incorporate a lot of their brand identity. That's where the AO sort of influence came into play. From that point, we can, we can introduce the seat, we remove the tail of the A. We knew that we wanted to produce a chair that did something a little bit different than being a ladder that umpires would climb up. Let's see how far we can push it. That's why the mechanical one came into, into play. We thought it might be a little bit far-fetched or pushing the boundaries a little bit too much for them, but to our surprise, uh, that was the concept that they loved. When they chose the mechanical design, we took a deep breath. Normally, uh, I think you'd have, say, 12 months, but we had such a limited amount of time and that was our, probably our biggest challenge. There was over 100 pieces of furniture that we had to pull together for the Australian Open and make sure that each piece of furniture actually came together and looked like a unified family. They've given us the freedom and entrusted us to produce a design that uh, has never been seen before and hopefully uh, everybody likes it. Went into the on-court approvals being pretty confident with what we were presenting. It was the first time Tennis Australia was seeing it. Seatbelts plugged in, seatbelts. Um, Do you actually have a seatbelt? That was pretty intense to be able to sort of have the person who actually had chosen it from its inception to, to be there and it was actually quite rewarding seeing him sit in the chair, push the button and the thing went up and his face just glowed. It was, it was just amazing. They get a big that thing in the stands like this. Everyone was very excited, the actual motorised contraption of it moving up and down, I think it blew everyone away. It's obviously a very important stage prototyping. It really gives us the opportunity to sort of see things that we don't normally see on a piece of paper and see them in real life. Some of the issues in terms of transport and, and heights and getting it in and out of the arenas, probably looking at maybe making it a little bit shorter. Take 300 off and we create a gap in the back of the shade as a whole. Everything was very constructive and um, there's some good builds from now uh, until production. We've got a bit of a motto here that's we make it happen and we just set about doing things. Challenges are just part of our day today. The harder it is, the better the outcome. I'm stoked. As a designer to even have something produced is a bit of a coup but having it produced on a world stage is such a buzz. Hopefully they're going to think it's quite iconic and uniquely Melbourne and hopefully they're interested in the sort of the sense of theatre that comes about what we're doing and how far we're pushing it. It's really forward thinking for the tennis.